Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel. Today we're in yet another how-to episode. Um, this is the Kid Crab as you can see. Now we are today going to look at, this is the setup I've currently got and it's okay. It's not brilliant but it's okay. I'm going to fandangle it a little bit because I'm not completely satisfied. I'm not completely happy with how it works to be honest. So uh, this is option one, obviously, because I'm using it as we uh, have at, at, at in the episodes. But let's see if we can do better. Here is option two. Now, the heat efficiency is only up by one. And we have swapped the LRM20 for three other M10s and the LBX10 LBX or 10x I should say for two AC5s now it may not seem like a smart idea but there is there is a um, there is something to my plan now that is that um, the LBX 10s don't shoot the distance that they shoot isn't as far as the AC5s because um, they only go to a maximum range of 450 now the AC5s go to 540 and having three LRM10s means <coughs> excuse me we can do more uh what's the word for it multi shots with breaching shot i know it's only LRM10s from LRM20s but it's better than nothing and if we don't actually shoot the medium lasers the heat is more than enough so let's put those medium lasers back in. They're only for short range protection anyway. And for um, trying to strip off evasion. So that another um, mech of ours can do a little bit of extra damage. So if it's just the AC5s and the other M10s firing, it ain't going to matter too much. So that's option two. We have option one, obviously, with what we're using currently. This is option two. The small lasers that were option one is only really worth if you're extremely close or you're punching someone, which I've never done in the, well, I have done obviously, not never, but in this configuration I have been using, I haven't actually managed to do that because it's so slow that it just doesn't happen. So let's see if we can do it a little bit better for an option three. Right, here is option three. Now, I'm a person who likes symmetricality. Um, I like because it's got two big ass hands with two big ass ballistics. I like two big ass ballistic weapons on the um, on the mech. But that doesn't mean you have to do that. That's just me personally. I'm just OCD like that. So I've gone for the three LRM tens with a plus two TTS for missiles, and they have the plus two damages, which means they do more damage than the say the LRM twenty that we was going to have. Even two of them with the plus two damage would do more than an LRM twenty because they're doing plus four damage per missile than what an LRM twenty would do because of the plus two damage each. Makes sense. Then we've got the plus 20 damage AC20 on the other side um, for that up close penetration. And then a couple of medium lasers for, uh, you know, just hacking away at some close range mechs uh, evasion, basically, just as again, help out the rest of the, uh, the lance. But the heat isn't great, but as soon as you take these medium lasers off, the heat is immense and you'll never ever overheat so if you don't use your medium lasers it's nice to have the medium lasers there just in case but you don't have to use them and you won't overheat and you can still use all your free lrm 10s for your long distance and your ac20 for your penetration and then your medium lasers for pecking away at someone that's option three now i don't think there's going to be many more optimum kind of uh, options really to be honest 
But maybe, 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 maybe one more. I'll have a little look. I think this one was, uh, this, this is option four. And this... This is option four. And it's up to you if you want to go for it. It is the most heat efficient. Well, it's not really, because again, it's the medium lasers up close. Without the medium lasers, you'll still do as much damage as you did before. But, um, personally, uh, I, well, it was just to show you what else could be done. There's so many combinations you can go for. So many combinations. And these are just guidelines. Again, this is the same in, in the uh, other videos. This is just my opinion. I personally, I probably won't use this one, but this is something you could do if you wish to. Uh, it still does pretty good damage. It's still got pretty good firepower. And even if you did do incorporate medium lasers all the time, you probably could do three, two to three alpha strikes before you completely overheated. Um, depending on the biome that you're in, obviously. But... I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 your choice. It's completely your choice. As I say, these are just my opinions. They are not the end all of everything that you need to do. So uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope they have helped you in some way with the options that you can go for. You might not even use the options that I've used, but hopefully they'll give you an idea of how you could improve or build if you're new the game your own mix so yeah if you've liked smash the like button if you uh, want to see more scratch the smash the subscribe button and i'll catch you next episode bye